So here we are, swim 12 at Praia de Rarifes. This is where we ended up last time. I mean, it's so beautiful here this morning. It's like a lake. It's really, really calm. I'm really looking forward to this. I've got a bit of a cold, but um, the sea will cure me. Let's go. So this is called Praia de Paradinha, and it's also called Praia de Arifes. <laughs> But it's uh, one beach kind of before Albufeira Marina, the official one. Mm. Trying to find an entrance. Oh gosh, it's quite rocky, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, okay. I think it's better. I think it's okay. probably okay here. This is the hardest launch ever. You all right? <laughs> all right. We had quite a tricky launch on this one. It was quite difficult to get in. But, but just look at all the amazing surprises that we had in store for us. This incredible rock formation and these millions of shimmering fish.
So the swim from Praia de Paradinha to Alvafira Marina takes you through a captivating stretch of coastline. Known for its dramatic and jagged rock formations, these were so unusual. I've never seen anything like this under the water before. It almost looked man-made, a very, very pointed um, rocks like rooftops. And here's uh, Robbie enjoying his walk along the cliff tops and the, through the forests. He had a wonderful time trying to catch up with us. Why are the rocks so jagged? The jagged rocks along this coast, especially in this area, are the result of millions of years of geological processes. Uh, this is made of limestone, a sedimentary rock formed from ancient marine life that was compressed over time. Um, the erosion of the wind gives it its shape, but also topography. So cast topography is where water is dissolved, the limestone forming caves, arches and sharp rock formations. And also there's some tectonic activity here. While not active today, the region has experienced some tectonic movements in the past, which contributed to the uplifting of the rocks and their fractured angular look. There are a number of really incredible houses here. We saw them from the middle of the sea. Robbie saw them from the roadside. And what a view they have. I think they all have their own private steps down to the beaches there as well. I don't think you can access it from the road. There's our first boat. I always get nervous when I see the first boat in the morning. Unusual underwear, isn't it? it really is. Um, the rocks suddenly jutting up and then drop down. Yeah. Lots of clicking sounds. Oh, look at that bird. What's that? Black. Uh, and this beautiful it's black really bird, I think, is called yeah. a cormorant. Amazing. <laughs> Swimming bird. It's like a penguin. Um, so, where, where you can see the steps. So Robbie is now at Albafira Marina and just walking over the top, checking we're okay. So at this stage, Robbie was gesturing to swim around the marina but I didn't feel comfortable doing that uh, just because of the boats. So I said to Tina, let's actually climb the rocks, which was quite scary, um, but we did it. We did it and it was an adventure. So we've just finished our swim. Tina, tell us, tell us what we did. We just climbed up some rocks lips. on the way out. We got blue lips <laughs> and um, it was tough getting in because we were having to go on our tummies across the rocks. But then it was amazing. Lots of new fish we saw. It was really good. Yeah, it's amazing. So we decided to actually climb the rocks at this marina. 
and we felt like um, 007, yeah. didn't we? <laughs> In Congo, it was quite quite tricky, but we did it. Amazing! Yes. Next time! Yeah. <laughs> Back at the car, another amazing adventure. Join us next time where we're going to swim across Albufeira. See you then!